Welcome to one of the past history exam question videos. In this video we're going to cover this exam question which comes from the 2008 paper and covers question 18 which is worth 15 marks or 15, 5 marks. And what I'll do in a second, I'll read the actual question. Once I read the question, get about 5 seconds to pause the video. Once you pause the video, attempt the question and then when you're ready, I'll go over the answer. I've got marking guidelines, so I'll show you the marking guideline for this question plus I will go for a sample answer as well. Right, so when you're ready, pause the video and attempt the question. Welcome back. All right, so this is the actual marking guideline. It says to get full marks of five out of five, or four to five marks out of five. Again, this is a big question, five marks, so you can write a decent amount, but you make sure you obviously have it accurate in terms of what you've written. But it says show clear um, clearly how measures that improve cleanliness in food practices and water and personal hygiene. So you need to have one of water, one of personal hygiene, and one of food practices, at least one of each. How, how these would minimize the risk of the number of people infected. Right? So how could these different um, control measures help to spread, help to control the spread of disease, right? But you need to have mentioned each of one of those and then make a clear link between reducing pathogen numbers and reducing spread of disease, right? So for example, uh, you've got pathogens that can cause disease. So there should be pathogens, there can be pathogens in water, air, and skin. And it can also then end up in food, right? So basically the idea would be that these pathogens can cause disease and they can be found pretty much anywhere. So if someone's sick, they can spread those pathogens for the water, air, skin, or food. So if we kill these pathogens, that means we prevent the spread of disease. And then it helps the assist the control of disease, right? So first we say pathogens can be found anywhere. If someone's sick, they would spread pathogens all over the place. And then by making sure we kill these pathogens, we can help with the control of disease. That's important. That's actually will get you already some marks. But then you should name some specific ones. And I've named one of each. You don't need to name if you name just if you just name five, you won't get actually get full marks. You need to explain as well, right? So name three, but explain as well. So if I have chosen in my case, I'm gonna take the washing hands. But this could be this is a personal hygiene, like once in brown or personal hygiene, washing hands, sneezing into tissue and showering. All right, so I and there, there are more, so if you chose someone, a different one, that's fine as well. Then I chose, um, these are the food one, the food preparation, refrigerated food, use glove, use hat, and then explain how they help. I've chosen, in this case, I think I've chosen the use glove one, but you could, you could have chosen one of these or some other ones that you would have known. And then how to help um, control the ones in water, I choose to boil the water. But um, if you wanted to use chlorine, you can somehow chlorine, and you can somehow explain how you can use chlorine on a boat. That'd be fine as well, as long as you explain. All right, so that's the idea of this actual one. I'll go for the sample answer. So first what I wrote was, pathogens can be found on human skin, in the water and air. If these pathogens end up inside a human being or human body, they can cause disease, right? So here I've said, okay, we've got these pathogens all over the place and they can cause disease. Next, what I said is, by taking preventative measures, which means we prevent the spread of the disease, by taking preventative measures when it comes to handling food, water and practicing good hygiene can help prevent the transmission of pathogens from these sources because they are they can be in the food water and on your skin so they can help spread the pathogens and help the helps prevent the transmission of these pathogens from these sources into the human body and thereby help control the disease right so that's just at the moment i've just said i've basically explained how we need to make sure we have good water, food, and personal hygiene practices because they can reduce the spread of disease. But yet, I haven't given specific examples yet, which is what I'm going to do now. I'm going to give one example of each. Right, so first, I'm going to talk about the water part. So now I'm talking about the water component. Boiling water before it is consumed can reduce the risk of pathogens and pathogen infections by killing the pathogen through pasteurization. Again, pasteurization is just a fancy word for high temperatures, denaturing, and then um, denaturing enzymes and thereby killing your pathogens that have these enzymes, right? So pasteurization just means boiling and then by killing pathogens, that's all that means. But here I've said, okay, if we boil our water, we kill the pathogens, and if we kill the pathogens, less disease. Right, that's your water one covered. Then I've covered one for personal hygiene as well. So this is this one here. Um, personal hygiene practices such as using a tissue when sneezing can reduce the spread of pathogens through the air. 
and thereby reduce the rest the risk of spreading the disease, the disease right because these pathogens aren't being spread over the actual air so they can't they can't get into your body so now i've covered explained how uh, a person hygiene practice such as using tissue how that can help prevent the spread of disease and then I chose for the food part, I chose the use of gloves. Uh, so gloves should be used at all times when preparing food to reduce the risk of transmitting pathogens onto the food that others will consume. Right? So if you use gloves, that means they can't get from your skin onto the food because that food will be eaten by others. So if you have a disease, you will give your pathogens onto a different person for the use of that food as an intermediate. Right? But now I've explained, given the three examples, and overall, I've done a decent job of explaining how pathogens can cause disease and how if we get rid of those pathogens, we have less disease. And that would be enough to get you five out of five marks. But I just gave a, a final statement to say there are just, this is, these are just a few of many measures that can be taken to help the, assist the control of disease, right? You can just say that because there are many, many more that you can have chosen, right? But even if you can't remember some, you can just say that to make sure the mark knows you know more if you, had you needed to put down more. And where is this from? Well, it's from this dot point. Explain why cleanliness and food, water, and personal hygiene practices assist in the control of disease. Right, so again, explain means you need to show how. So this is exactly what the, what the actual question was asking. Explain how cleanliness. And that came from the 2008 HSC paper. But I hope that was useful.